Oh, so I was in the bathroom, in the men's bathroom, and I heard a fish come picking. So I turned around and I saw a barrel in the stall. So I ran outside, called the cops, and then called the fire alarm so everybody could get out. And that was pretty much it. And they told me to wait here, so that's why I'm standing right now. And have they talked to you yet? What? Have they talked to you yet? Yeah. So they talked to you, and what What all did they ask? Uh, what happened, and that was pretty much it. And then they went in for like two hours now, I think. And I'm still waiting. Cause it, and she got my driver's license, so... Oh, so the yeah. officer has they the They told me to license? wait, and she also got my driver's license, so... <laughs> And so, because I go to the shooting range, mm -hmm. I recognize the sound of the gun, like when you load the bullet in it. So I turned around and I saw the barrel. I was like, damn, so I ran outside. Did it, and look, did it look like a skinny barrel? Like a regular barrel, a long barrel, like a naked 47. I'm pretty sure it was naked 47 barrel. So, yeah. So were you scared when you saw it or what yeah, was your first thought? I just cut? ran outside. I didn't do anything. <laughs> then I just went outside and pulled the fire alarm and then called 911. So obviously, there, uh, you're, the way you're telling it, there was a person with the uh, with it? Yeah, inside the store. Just when you when you pulled the fire alarm, did you see anything happen after that? Did you know? Nope. I was outside. Out? Yeah, I stayed outside because the dispatch told me to stay outside and wait for the squad car. So that's what I was doing until they got here.